The Legacy of a White-Tailed Deer Hunter is a new Netflix original film and this stars Josh Brolin and Danny McBride. Josh Brolin plays Buck, a man who loves to hunt. He has his own show that is filmed by Danny McBride about hunting, the in and out of hunting, why he loves it, and just different things about hunting. Well, he wants to film a video of him taking his 12-year-old son out to hunt white-tailed deer. He views it as a bonding experience because he's kind of have a rough patch going on. He recently got divorced from his wife. He doesn't really feel connected with his son, so he hopes that going hunting will be able to bring them closer. But he's slowly starting to realize that hunting may not be for his son. His son loves talking on the phone with his girlfriend, shooting vlogs, and crashing ATVs in the woods. I was really looking forward to the legacy of a white-tailed deer hunter because it's from the creators of Eastbound and Down, which I do love, and it has Dan McBride, who is hilarious, and Josh Brolin, who's on a roll this year with Avengers, Sicario, and Deadpool. So I was curious to see how this movie would play out. And it's kind of average. It's nothing that's terribly bad, but it's not amazing either. It's just kind of right in the middle. It's an hour and 23 minutes, so it's a very quick watch. It's just a a one-time film that you're going to watch once and then you're going to completely forget about it later on. Josh Brolin gives an okay performance. Not his best performance ever. It's just serviceable. You do feel the passion for hunting within him. And you also sometimes do feel that disappointment when he realizes his son may not become a hunter just like him. So he's balancing those kind of emotions. And I do think he does a great job in here, but it's just an okay performance. It's nothing that... When I think of a Josh performance role, I might think of like Avengers now. I'm not going to think of the legacy of a white-tailed deer hunter. Danny McBride is pretty good in this movie, but he almost feels like his character is not there because Josh Brolin tells him to go behind and shoot a certain scene. So most of the time, Danny McBride's in the background with a camera just shooting a scene. And he, sometimes I feel like his character is non-existent. But when he does appear on screen, it is pretty funny. Jokes that Danny McBride could only land that I laughed at. And sometimes there are some dramatic moments as well from Danny McBride with Josh Brolin. Now this movie is a very cookie cutter film. It is a paint by the numbers movie. We've seen this movie before. It's very typical. We have emotions with the dad and son. That's very typical. And they want to um, kind of get over that. It's a movie that we've seen before and and what makes it kind of the same, and I wish it was done a little more, is that the young kid in here, I think his name's Montana, his real name, who plays the son, uh, was a really bad child actor. And Josh Brolin felt, I felt like Josh Brolin was trying to carry certain scenes and have these scenes be really dramatic and I could feel the weight from him. But he, tr but the, the scenes also relied on that young boy to add some depth to that scene and just did not work out at all. And so I felt like Josh Brolin was up here trying to carry this dramatic scene and the boy was down here trying to catch up and it just was not working. The Legacy of a White-Tailed Deer Hunter is a very average film, has some okay performances. And it's a very short film, an hour and 23 minutes, that if you want to watch it, you're scrolling through Netflix and you like hunting, you might enjoy this movie. I wanted to watch it because of Josh Brolin and um, Dan McBride. I've never hunted. I don't think I will ever hunt in my life. But if you are a hunter and you might like this movie, uh, there's some you know, talk about hunting and whatever. I don't know. You guys might like it. It's on Netflix now. I'm going to go ahead and give this a C. Make sure to stay tuned this month. I got a lot of Netflix reviews. I got Father of the Year with David Spade, Duck Duck Goose, an animated movie. There's one with Michael Pena called Extinction. And a couple sprinkled throughout the month that I'll be checking out. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies. And you guys stay classy, YouTube.